Hey guys, it's Sunday, May 17th. It's, what time is it? 2.48 p.m. Don't get excited. I know the date because tomorrow's my wedding anniversary. How long have we been married? A long time. <laughs> A few decades. Long time. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, we are out driving around. I was able to finally go into our local craft shop. I think there's only like four locations. It's just an Oregon thing, Oregon, Washington thing, I think, craft warehouse. They're open for service. They're limiting how many people can come in the store and you have to have protection on and all of that jazz. But I'm happy that they're doing that and I'm happy that they're able to open and I'm happy to support them. Anyway, I probably spent too much money there, but I got some things I've wanted and, and or needed that I'm completely out of. And I'm getting tired of ordering things online. Um, they also had hand sanitizer. And while we didn't get a whole bunch of it, we got one. You had a limit of six, but we um, got one. And now we're just going to go drive around. And get out of the house, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where we're going to go. We don't know where we're going to go, but that's all right. That's all right. So I was very pleased to see that Craft Warehouse was indeed open. They were limiting how many customers could go in. You needed to have a mask on and the staff was taking all precautions, following social distancing practices. And you know what? I made a point to thank them on my way in for doing all of that and trying to keep us all safe. I know our retail and other essential workers are not hearing that often enough. I would prefer to give my business to businesses that are doing what they can than to businesses that aren't and to make sure to thank them um, at some point while I'm there. So anyway, that's just me, but maybe you all should do the same thing. I decided to get some coffee on the way home at Gold Rush Coffee in McMinnville. McMinnville, right? McMinnville, yep. Yeah, anyway, white chocolate lavender mocha on ice. It's delicious. It's lavender. It's got lavender in it too. Lavendelly. It's very good. I like it. I'll be back. Hey guys, so we are out for our evening stroll. We got almost halfway on our nightly walk before we ran into really a living soul. But we finally started running into people, so the mask went on. Anyway, I did some work on the new slow stitch and I got all the yo-yos on. I got some embroidery on. Not as much embroidery, I don't feel like, uh, as I've been doing, but I don't think it needs it. I'm going to wait to do anything else until I get the beadwork on and some edging and some words. We'll see where it takes us, but I'll put a picture here. You all tell me what you think. Anyway, we're going to go do finish our walk. And hus husband doesn't want to make cookies. He's too full. So I might have to have ice cream. Oh, you know, I just, you know, I might have to. All right, I'll be back. Good, very early Monday morning, people. It is a rainy Monday morning in Portland. Hello, land of much water. I've said that before. There's a reason I call it that. Um, it's like 7.30 in the morning. Something like that. I'm already showered and dressed, obviously. I am headed out to take some things to the post office. I've got to turn my keys in at the old P.O. box. But I'm also, I don't have to do that this early in the morning, none of that. Um, but what I do need to do is try to find some more yeast and some Lysol spray. So, not that I'm going to be successful this morning, but since I have to go out today anyway, I figured I'd go out early, try to hit Safeway shortly after they open, which is where we're headed first. Um, got my mask, of course I've got my mask. Um, and try to see if they have Lysol or yeast. I mean, I don't know, they might not, but... I may decide to hit like Target or something too if they don't. I don't I don't know. I'm kind of hoping they at least have Lysol. I could do without yeast for a little while longer, but. Alrighty, so I might not have found any yeast still. 
However, um, I found two cans of Lysol type, type spray disinfectant, which we are using on our shoes and things that come in the front door, mail and things. And another thing of hand sanitizer. So yay me. I feel accomplished this morning. Um, so now I don't know what time McCann's opens or the post office part of it. We're gonna go see if we can take care of that this morning. Hey guys, it is Tuesday morning, May 19th. I think it's still morning. I don't think it's quite noon yet, but or it's around lunchtime. It's somewhere around lunchtime. Anyway, I have been editing video this morning. Uh, the vlog is saving right now. And then I'm going to edit. I have two more little videos to edit. And there is some excess clips. I might put together something for Patreon. I was also helping a neighbor who I don't know via next door with some video issues that they had. So we got that taken care of. Uh, and what else? I'm gonna go get the mail. Um, ate some lunch. I've done no art yet because I was editing. So, you know, that's a thing. But I do have an idea for another slow stitch and it's gonna be a challenging stitch, but it might be a fun stitch. So I'll let you know how that goes. I'll be back. I think I vlogged today. I forgot a mask. You gotta get a mask. I need a mask. I think I vlogged today, but I don't know for sure. I can't even remember a mask right now. I don't know. One side of my house, can you see that? Is Yeah, that color. The other side is bright and sunny. Holy crap, look at that gray. Yeah, so we're going walking, but I have my raincoat and my sunglasses. And I have a cough drop and, and now I have a mask. So that I not only am protected, but I don't cough in public because right now I've gotten a couple looks from people that they're like tempted to beat me up or something thinking I have COVID rather than just asthma. Husband said if we go walking, I might get cookies when we get back. Uh, cookies and hot tea? Yeah. So I'm going to go walking and I'm going to do some stitching, of course, and drawing later. I'll be back. Good morning. It is... 9.50 a.m. Wednesday morning, May 20th, I think. Um, been busy since I got up this morning. I got a late night message from a friend in California, another friend in California who needs needed masks. So I made sure to get those off to him and they're already in our little drop box here by the house. Um, but then I, uh, a little while later, sold a sizable Etsy order um, that I want to mail out for her today. So I am um, going to run this over to our little post box annex place while it's still open because they closed September 1st. But I've already changed my P.O. box stuff. But anyway, they're still open, so I'm able to drop mail off there. So I'm going to go do that really quick. It'll take like 10 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and work on some more slow stitching and chat with some friends. And let's see, it's cloudy and rainy again. You know, I live in the Portland area, land of much water. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know what to tell you. Uh... Hey guys. Oh, there we go. Um, so I promised you the slow stitch thing I was working on. So. I found this painting in my stash of stuff when I was cleaning up not long ago. I don't remember if I showed it on camera or not. Anyway, I'm gonna be making um, a digital of this. It'll be available for as a digital download in my Etsy shop. I painted it about, I think 2018, after we moved. Um, while I was in South Carolina, I believe is when I did that. Anyway, um, it was in a journal and I pulled it out of the journal because I thought, this, and this is a photocopy of the original, by the way. <laughs> um, I can show you the original. It's over here waiting to be scanned. Because uh, at the time of filming this, I haven't made the digital copy of it for a digital print yet. But there you go. There's the original. Um, hang on. I don't mean to make y'all dizzy. Lighting's a little better over here. Let's see. There we go. 
So that's the original. So first I made um, color copy of it. I made three color copies and then I took and I isolated and cut apart big sections of the painting that were mostly like one color. Um, blacks from the reds. I, I literally just took the color copy, isolated sections and cut them apart and then started pulling fabrics I thought would layer on top of each other really well to give me the color base that I wanted. Knowing that when I stitched all the fabrics on to give me my color base, it was gonna have a suggestion of a shape but look like a hot mess. It's really not gonna be pulled together till I do the black embroidery. Um, and this is what I came up with, which isn't bad. Um, it is on a wool base, so as I was stitching it, it was got getting all wavy and wrinkly. Um, but because it's on a wool base, we're standing at the ironing board, I was able to steam iron it a couple times and press it, and it flattened back out again, so it's completely flat now. And I think I'm all ready for the black embroidery and maybe some white. Um, there's the, let's see, there we go. There is the picture and the embroidery side by side. You can see. You can see the shapes, it's there. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. No matter how it turns out, it might turn out like poop, but it's, it's a lot of fun and it's an experiment to see if I can do it or not. Um, so we'll see. And I'll probably, probably sell the finished piece in the Etsy shop. I'm not sure yet. It depends on how much I fall in love with it because that's always a problem. <laughs> Um, anyway, so if, you know, hopefully it gives you some ideas of what you guys can do with digital downloads from the Etsy shop, either my shop or someone else's. Why can't you use them for inspiration if you're a stitcher to create a slow stitch from the painting? Uh, you know, inspired by the painting, as long as you're not going to sell it, I'm okay with that. Um, it's a lot of fun and even to just do with your own artwork. Um, it's challenging certainly and I don't know that I would next time pick one that has this many uh painty suggestive marks on it because that makes it more challenging um you maybe want one with more defined color shapes but it's a painting so a painting is always going to be a challenge to translate to a slow stitch so anyway that's what I'm working on today I'm going to chat with some friends and stitch away the rest of the day all right, that's it. Here I am talking to the camera again, and it's not on. So it's Thursday morning. It's a few minutes before 10 a.m. May 21st, I think. I'm headed out, obviously I'm in the car, to the post office, the little annex place while it's still open, to mail a few things. I don't have enough postage for everything, so... Um, I'm gonna go do that and I might I might pop into Safeway which is right across the street and I'm not really a huge Safeway fan but every time I am out I like try to pop out to a local store and try to find a few things that were like running maybe running low on something or um, that I've been looking for I mean we're not doing big grocery shopping more than every about week and a half two weeks but we do run out of fresh stuff before, well before then. So anyway, I got the um, slow stitch finished. This is her. I got some beadwork on her. She, I love the way she turned out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put her up for sale or not. I am, um, I don't mean to make y'all dizzy, sorry. I am sort of attached to some of the slow stitches. So I have no idea, why is the lighting so weird in here? Probably because I have that on. Um, there we go. I am sort of attached to some of the slow stitches, so I don't know. Um, I And I have the steam iron on, in case you're wondering what that noise is. Um, the other thing I've discovered is I had a couple of these left from the old embroidery days. Anybody remember these? They are in piece of mat, um, like mat board, but it's adhesive on one side and it's intended for mounting needlework too. When you're finished with it, you put it, attach it to this and then it's safe and stable and secure. Yeah, and you can uh, frame it or put it onto a larger piece of mat board with a, a frame, um, you know, whatever you want to do with it. So um, I had a smaller piece of stitchery that I was able to mount. We'll go look at that in a minute. 
And then I created a label. I'll show you the one that's not signed. I created a label for myself that goes in the back. So every piece of stitchery will have that label on it somewhere. And if it's mounted to a board, it'll be on the back of the board. I do have one piece that's really big and the label's actually on the back of the piece because I don't have a board big enough. So hang on just I'm one back second. in the art library and um, this is the piece I put on a board and it's got the label on the back. And uh, yeah, cute, huh? Actually. There we go. <laughs> Cute, huh? Flower inspired. So anyway, I love this one. And um, yeah. <sighs> I'm loving the stitching. So anyway, all right. I also got um, two, sorry, we're gonna walk back. Um, besides this piece, which is supposed to go that way, the label's crooked on it, or sideways anyway it's supposed to go that way um i got um this piece of artwork scanned that that other stitch piece is based on and i also got this piece of artwork scanned which was one of two and i um, sold one of them with the junk journaling box it did sell that i was talking about last week this other one i'm keeping at least for now and i have tur turned it into a piece of digital art both of these are on the Etsy shop for sale, the digital file, and you can download it and reprint it um, over and over. I do think that the girl's face won't be the last time I take one of my pieces of artwork and turn it into a stitch. There's a big hint for you. I might do that cactus one next, we'll see. Um, or a cactus inspired by that one. Um, so yeah. Um, it is a fun alternative to another way to use your digital files, um, turn them into a piece of needlework or use them on needlework, print them on a piece of fabric and use it on um, a fabric journal cover or a piece of stitchery or something like that. I will be showing how to do some of that on the YouTube ch channel going forward. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I think it's just about time to turn things off for the day and go downstairs and start thinking about maybe doing the dishes because I think the sink is full. Yeah, that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Morning, everybody. It's Friday, May 22nd, um, 10.36 a.m. <clears throat> According to the car clock, which isn't exactly accurate, it's, you know, a few minutes off, I think. Anyway, uh, I am obviously headed out again. I've been out more this week than I have since this whole apocalypse thing started, but um, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I do have my mask, hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, all that jazz. You kind of wonder if this is gonna be a permanent thing or not. I'm gonna have to figure out how to put a cooling pack inside of these if it is. My face gets really hot. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I don't think it's morning. I think it's after lunch. Oh, no, it's 11 59. It's technically morning still for one more minute. Um, hey guys. All right, we are obviously upstairs in the art room. I have these two little fabric books. These are needle keepers. This one is the one that generally lives in um, my sewing table desk drawer. And it is full of a lot of different kinds of needles. Um, some of which I used for sewing. And there's actually a little small needle keeper, keeper in here also full of needles that I was given. I know for a fact there's some needles in here that are for when I am knitting. There's some blunt, blunt tipped, um, um, not darning needles, but y'all, if you knit or crochet, you know what I mean, to hide the threads in your work. Uh, corona brain, I'm having issues. Um, but there's also... Um, different kinds of embroidery needles like hidden in amongst all of these other crazy amount of sewing needles and everything. I have this little one which lives with my slow stitching stuff 
There are some short, tiny little embroidery needles in here that honestly I don't care for. They're too small for me. Um, and then I really just use these bigger ones in the back. I think what I wanna do is take these littler ones out and put them in the sewing book where I'm more likely to use them and take some of these larger ones out of here and put them over here. Um, I did order some more embroidery needles today because if you're a stitcher, you never have enough needles and I do tend to be hard on my needles and on my beading needles especially, which are thin as a hair. I've shown this on camera before. I'm not even sure you can see that, how thin that is. And yes, it's bent and crooked. I, I tend to bend the crap out of them. Um, and I don't have my reading glasses on at all, so I can't really see it. What am I doing? Sticking it back in the spool. I tuck it under some of the threads so it doesn't kind of get lost. So it's just like that. I don't even know if you can see that because the needle is so small. There we go, right there. Um, so anyway, so I think I'm gonna take some of these out of here and I take these little ones out of here because I'm not using them at all. And we're gonna switch them up and I'll be right back. even forgot that there were some needle threaders in here and so I'm going to put them in my slow stitching box. I do have other needle threaders in the um, sewing desk so I don't really need those two that were hiding. Oh, holy cow that's my husband in the garage door opener. Hold okay on. anyway I don't really need the needle threaders that were in the needle book to be in here. I could use them in the slow stitching box so I'm going to put them over there. So that's it for the moment. I think I'm going to start on my next slow stitching video and also catch up my positive affirmation doll. So he's a couple days behind again, he, but he's running out of space. So, you know, <laughs> all right, that's it. I'll be back. So I almost forgot to close the vlog. It's 10 04 PM Saturday, May 23rd. Oops. Uh, yeah. So we, did a few errands that we could uh, do and needed to do. And then I spent the rest of the afternoon, um, if you see, whoops, that right there, working on some cross stitch because when I was rearranging some things in the art room to make way for slow stitching, I found a bunch of cross stitch kits I forgot I had. I got two of them done. I got a little, hold on, um, seahorse done. And this funny little cat Oops, there we go, maybe, let's see, wait. The lighting is weird, it's late at night. Um, these are by, they're called Tiddlers. They're little mini cross stitch kits and they're by, yeah, Tiddlers, it's a weird name. They're by a company called Mouse Loft, one word. And um, the labels look like this. Now these are old Tiddlers, I've had these, I think I've had these since my daughter went to Lutheran school, which was like, third to second to third grade or first to third grade or yeah a long time ago she's 26 and getting married um but they still make them I actually looked the company up earlier and I will link it in the description below who knew anyway I'm making using up what I have um finishing up things that haven't been done yet and yeah but you know kind of lost track of time Husband cooked dinner mostly. I made meatball, made the meatballs, but he did all the cooking. He even brought me dessert. Wasn't that sweet? I'm such a sweet guy. You are a sweet guy. Yeah, see? Fred's so sweet. Fred's a sweet guy. Fred's sweet. Anyway, 
So it's been a relaxing Saturday. We've had a good week. We hope you have too, that you're staying safe and you're staying healthy and stay creative, that you're uh, doing what you need to to keep the people around you and the community around you safe by following the guidelines for social distancing and wearing a mask. And uh, yeah, all of that jazz, right? Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do leave them down below. I will be doing more with embroidery and stitching and slow stitching going forward. It is where I started this whole mess with way back pre-Fred. Uh, and it looks like I'm revisiting it right now and I'm enjoying doing it. So there'll be more of it coming up. If there's something specific that you all would like to see, do let me know. Um, I'd appreciate you supporting the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, as would your other favorite creatives. We all have a way you can support the free content. Check out our video descriptions. I have an Etsy store, Patreon, a PayPal tip jar, Amazon affiliate links. I have so much stuff. Check out the description. Um, there's probably a link down there that says, uh, link tree. You click on that, you're going to find all my support sites, all my social media stuff. Plus, there's a few direct links down there. Just, like, check it out. And it, go to your favorite creators and check out their video descriptions. If you can't find a way to support them, ask. Because I bet they have a way they might just not be talking about it. All right. I think that's it for right now. I'm tired. I need to post all my stuff for today on social media. And maybe think about getting some sleep. How about you? All right, we'll see you next week. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys.